In Android Nougat 7.1, that's API level 25, there's an exciting new API, and it's a total game changer. It provides full platform support for the most expressive of conversational tools, the GIF or even GIF keyboard. Even better than that, it's not just in API 25 because version 25 of the support library provides a backwards compatible set of APIs, allowing apps and keyboards to support it all the way back to API 13. That's over 98% of all active devices. So there's two halves to the API. The outputting of emojis, stickers, the G word, and other rich content for use by keyboard devs, and then exposing the input capabilities and receiving the media for use by app devs. The flow goes like this. When the user taps on an edit text, the editor sends a list of MIME types it can accept to the keyboard. The keyboard reads those lists and displays content of those types to the user. When the user selects an image, the keyboard calls commit content and sends that content to the editor. We're going to look at the flow for app developers first. If you're the developer of a messaging, social, or any other app that can benefit from enhanced keyboard support, then by implementing rich media this way, you can accept it from any compatible keyboard, letting users choose which they prefer. To tell the keyboard which content types you can accept, you override the onCreateInputConnection method of edit text. Then use editor info compat set content mime types to populate the editor info object with the mime types you support. It's the editor info that's passed between the app and the keyboard. Then return your input connection callback, which you're going to use to handle the incoming media when the keyboard commits it. Many messaging apps have an edit text at the bottom of the screen for text entry, and then a pretty message history or conversational view above it. We've got a sample called commit content sample app that displays edit text with different allowed MIME types and displays the incoming media in a web view. It's available in the usual places, in Android Studio's samples importer or GitHub repo. Another thing it shows is requesting and releasing permissions for the rich content being passed over. For input method editor developers, gone are the days of copying images to the clipboard. Now apps can tell you what content types they'll accept, and you can start flinging it across. Simply override the on start input view, and you'll receive the editor info object that was populated by the app and discover the accepted MIME types. Then you can retrieve your current input connection and commit the content, ideally using the compact version of the APIs. It's worth mentioning that Android 7.1 devices will use the native implementation, and that means you're going to need to grant permissions to the content URI. We've got a sample IME implementation as well, and it's called the Commit Content IME Sample. You'll also find it in the Android Studio Samples browser. Now you can enable more expressive and exciting conversations across your entire user base. Excellent. Applause.